learn to think for yourself. Now, why do I say that? Part of it is your responsibility to educate yourself, to question yourself, to question the people that you're taking information in from, not taking everything at face value. That is what I mean. In order to do that, we have to remain mindful. We have to learn how to be mindful. And if we let other people influence our brain, we won't grow it how we want to. Like if you're going to the gym and you ate whatever your mom made for dinner, you think you're gonna get the results you made? You might, depending on what your mom cooks, but if your mom is anything like me, Hispanic, it's pure carbs and fat, man. Don't get me wrong, I love my food, but I also have goals I want to achieve. So the first point to train your brain is to meditate. It gives you the ability to focus on one thing at a time instead of just scrolling through watching mindless entertainment videos like you do all the time which by all means if you want to go right ahead i still do that but i try to i try my best to put the majority of my time into watching meaningful mindful videos if not my brain's gonna grow weaker and if you can't even do a 10 minute meditation video then brother you're wasting your time watching this type of videos man if you don't know how to meditate that's fine you gotta learn you gotta try and meditating it's just like hitting the gym. You can't expect to see results within the first day, within the first week, maybe even the first month. Give it time. Be consistent with it. And guess what? The results will show. If you go to the gym for only a week, you think you're going to see results? Of course not, man. You got to put in the work to meditate. To actually stand there for 10, 30 minutes. And just listen to your breath. You're going to go in and out of focus that's part of the exercise you're gonna go in and out and then you're going to learn how to refocus your attention if you don't know how to meditate i'll link down below a 10 minute guide to meditation that i do at least once a day now my second point to help you out being more mindful and help you learn to think for yourself watch self-improvement videos like this and take notes on it because if you take notes on it you write it down it's not all over your mind your mind is going all over the place because you don't have the capability to focus on one thing at a time, you won't be able to stay focused on one video at a time. So you gotta write down your ideas, what you took away from this video, and what you're going to implement in your life. Because everybody's gonna take something different from the same video. You gotta learn what you took away from it and what you're gonna implement into your life. Because if you're not gonna implement any of this shit, man, you're wasting your time. Wasting your time watching all these videos because all you're doing is mental masturbation. If you're gonna watch videos like these, Take down notes. Take away the good parts in the video that you're going to use in your life. That you're going to implement that very same day. Because if you don't do shit, if you're going to say, oh, I'll put it off to tomorrow. You're never going to get to tomorrow. It's always going to be tomorrow. Oh, next year is going to be my year. Man, fuck next year. Do it right now. Why not right now? Start right now. Like The Rock said, man. It can either be one day or day one. Lastly, one of the most important points in this video that I need you to take away is to reflect on your actions for the day. Too many of us just go about living life without reflecting, without reflecting on our actions that we accomplish for the day, on our goals. Am I working towards my goals? Am I setting back on my goals? I do nothing today. Now, you're not always going to be 100% on your goals, but for at least, I would say, like four to five days out of the week, you should be striving to your goals. And how do you know if you're doing that? By reflecting on your actions for the day reflecting if you're doing what you're supposed to do to get to where you want to get to so reflect on your actions day by day week by week month by month why because the more you do the more you'll improve on like shit i fucked up here i played too much video games i spent too much time on my phone let me cut that out the next day you know that what work you need to put in to get the results that you want that's one of the most important points i can make right now man is to reflect on your actions reflect on your day don't let time pass. Time is going to pass either way. Next year is going to come. Next December is going to arrive. And will you be in the same spot you were? You know, it's crazy. I think by the time I get this video out, I think it'll be a whole year since I made the first video on my channel. Now, whether or not I'm at where I want to be at, I wouldn't say I'm where I want to be at materialistically, right? But I feel like mentally, spiritually, and physically, I definitely came a long way. And that's just the beginning, brother. I'm going to keep going. And I hope that all of you watching this take away from this video that by next December, maybe you won't be 100% at where you want to be at. But your mentality will be different. The actions you're doing day by day will be different. You're no longer bound to your phone, bound to your games, bound to 
horn bound to anything you're bound to your goals you're bound to improving yourself you're bound to helping your family to raising a family whatever it may be whatever your goals are i hope by by next year the end of next year you're at where you want to be at either mentally physically spiritually and i'll say materialistically that shouldn't be like because first it comes from within and then you put that out towards the world all right so go take action and i'll catch y'all soon